Oh, hello. <laughs> I love the commitment. Oh my God. I don't know if that's what I'm <laughs> I want you to look like a beautiful bird, not a chicken. Take us to the moon, girl. Without showing it. Hello, my name is Lucy Petit. I'm a French model in Hong Kong. And in this video, I'm going to be reacting to Supermodel Me Revolution Season 6, Episode 1. Let's dig in right now. This is so funny because just watching so far the few little challenges that are going to happen, you can see already it's a mix of like America's Next Top Model, a bit of like previous season of Supermodel Me. It's quite interesting to, yeah, see what's gonna be happening soon with all these challenges. Say it like you believe it. I'm the best model in the world. You tell me! Déjà vu! I wish you no mercy. I'm here to win and I'll be friends. If you can conquer your fear, you can conquer all the males in this industry. If you want to be a superhero, my name is Kinect. Don't call me Queen because I'm your queen. Yes, girl. I really don't want to only ever be known as, oh, she's the sister of this well known model. No, like, I'm here because I want to make a name for myself. I have that competitive yeah. nature inside me. She's as pretty as her sister, by the way. Aww. And she's got a motivation now. She's got someone to eat. I initially believed that accounting and finance was going to be my life, but then I found out about modeling. I... And it changed everything, right? <laughs> all right, I've got a little favorite, I'm gonna say, because among all these girls, I have met uh, Isabel, who was a really lovely girl. We didn't get to talk so much. We met on a shoot for an editorial. But uh, yeah, she seemed to be a really sweet girl. So I can't wait to see how the competition happens for her and how well she does through it. So yeah, you go, girl. It's crazy seeing all these girls. I was quite intimidated because my skin decides to break out. I feel so insecure about my face. But if I can show that I've got the determination, I will go places. That's a thing as well nowadays, a movement that happened quite recently where everyone is actually showing their true self, even sometimes on social media for the one that really dare to put themselves out there, meaning like no makeup, nothing, actually showing a bit of a skin that is not that flawless at the end of the day because, you know, when you remove all these filters and everything, it, it just becomes reality. So it's good in a way that they're showing that as well, that, you know, it's, it's not just always perfect and perfection is anyway overrated all right so you go girl <laughs> That is awesome! I mean, no one gives you a car when you start modeling, but uh, <laughs> not straight away at least, but uh, yeah, that's a good initiative. We can just know who is the sponsor behind, can we? Oh wow. wow, 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 wow. Yeah, this is not a real model house. <laughs> this is a model house for TV reality shows, guys. Yeah, just to say a model house in in Asia doesn't look like that at all, just so you know. Of course, it's amazing for them to be living in such a house, like, you know, they're showing the glamour of modeling and what it's like to be living the dream of being a model, right? And we love that. But um, yeah, just a little back to reality, this is not what it looks like. If there is no bunk beds in this house, this is not a real model house. <laughs> That's house. Like bunch of 
All right, when you get to uh, your model's apartment on a contract, you do not have a gift. You are lucky if there's clean pillowcases. <laughs> Yeah, there, there are no gifts. You, you are lucky if you can actually just find a, a decent place to make your own for the next months, three months, in a house where no one really gives a shit about it because at the end of the day, no one stays there for a really long time, so they don't really care about anything that is linked to being clean or such. But um, yeah, at least I'm assuming they're gonna have a cleaning lady coming this one, so. There is Claire, Zeline, Prisca, Melanie, and Gwen. It's a mix, but some people. Thank are you, because now. I do not remember all the names. Isabel, Jennifer, Hannah, Cassandra, and me. I'm going to need to hear it one more time. On your mark, the race is on, but run along the team in which you belong. It can only be won with the inside strength you've shown. <laughs> What do you think it's gonna be? <laughs> Just let me know. <laughs> it's like some of this little riddle that you're like, uh huh, mm hmm. All right, let's go through it. <laughs> the army's coming. I see a lot of bonds and rats. And who steps out? My name is Hanley Hofer, <laughs> Isabel, Prisca, Hi. Jennifer, TJ, Wiwi, and Zeline, your teammate. Oh. Hannah, yeah. Nikki, Cassandra, Let's go. Queen Anne, Claire, and Melanie. <laughs> I will still, still not remember these names though. Ah. It's super important for us, especially for the first shoot, so we need to win this. Choose your Prisca. players wisely. We couldn't dwell over that. We had to focus on getting through the rest of the course. Yeah, I love that. They're doing like really almost a spot and rice for it. And then I kind of felt like something wrong with my ankle. The buckets were so freaking heavy. I was just starting to feel yeah. a little bit dizzy. I would suck at that too. Look at this little, little arms there. But you are really still strong though, I even have small arms. That's the beautiful thing about these games though. It's like, although it's a competition, but they get to work as a team as well. And making sure that everyone is bringing their own strengths to it. So no, that's a great, great thing to have uh, in a model competition, yeah. Wow. You will be donning the luscious lingerie collection. Oh From intimacy to infinity. All right, and beyond. first show, first shoot. <laughs> You're gonna do aerial yoga, you'd better be good at yoga, you'd better be good as this like aerial yoga too. And you better be comfortable because you're gonna be in lingerie. <laughs> All right, that's a, that, that's a challenge, <laughs> indeed. She's physically the weakest, and from the past challenge, she wasn't able to show her 100%. So by her going first, you get to see her flaws even more. And... Yeah. Okay, how do you... <clears throat> All right, I understand that you have to fight for your spot. But right now, right here, it's really like, oh, you know, explain us why you don't like this girl and why you picked on her. Hmm. I feel that this is my chance to prove them wrong. Okay. Yeah, go girl. Wee wee, what was your team? Oh my god, is that the lingerie? What? Oh my god, I'm gonna be so naked oh my in this. Yeah, and it's not like some ladies, you know, elegant lady, conservative lady kind of underwear now. And his thongs as well. All right, spread your legs, girls. <laughs> Watch your profanity. I want you to look like a beautiful bird, not a chicken. Take us to the moon, girl, without showing it. I have a sprained ankle, so I already have the strategy to use my back. I mean, with a sprained ankle, like, okay, I know it's a modeling competition, but Give it a rest. You shouldn't be on a hammock doing weird poses for a challenge. But yeah. All right. Focus. Last ten shots. Ooh, nine. That's 
pretty. So I try to imagine myself Very elegant. as a painting by Michael <laughs> And she had to put her legs up, so that's good for the ankle spray. Yes. You gotta play more with the fabric. Yeah, don't just hang there. Don't just hang there. Oh, hello. <laughs> I love the commitment, oh my but God. I don't know that. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> It's, just, it, it's cute because she's trying new things, which is great when you're doing a photo shoot and especially a challenge, right? You want to show like all the things you can be doing. Um, she seems to start with that. I, I mean, if you want to be a bit more, um, you know, adventurous, let's say, with your posing, maybe keep that for a bit later. Give them a few um, standard pose at first so that you know you have like a few sets that are fine and then you can go and like try to explore more and go a bit more crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, right now, in between the lingerie, in between the fact that she's spreading her legs, it's it's not going to be very artistically pleasing, let's say. But at least she's trying. We'll get it. We'll give her that. <laughs> uh, uh, no, let's try something else. Oh, that's pretty. Gorgeous shape. Yeah, me creating more shape, right, opening so. that. Uh, that's good. Yeah. Hopefully, it works. That hammock? How do you even I call that? Like back of my mind, I'm like, um, I have no chance. You know, what? You are gorgeous, like girl. Nice what angles. are you talking about? Nice. What I see, Jennifer. Very nice. Good. Beautiful face. The thing is, now that I've seen what the other girls have done, they can just kind of like do the same thing. Yes. Plus. Lingerie, you don't just put That's it pretty on, though, it's but... look cute and beautiful. She's extremely versatile. She's someone yeah, she's very confident else should also too. keep an eye on. Gorgeous! Want to do a Superman pose where the hammock mm. is in between my legs? Mm. Is that way? Easy! Oh, and in oh, between your legs, really nah. Flexible. Create shape as much as you can. Create shapes. Extend the leg, honey. Extend, extend. That looks Six, really uncomfortable. Five, that's something as well, when you're posing with something that is that difficult, it's, it can be, yeah, I mean, it is challenging, don't get me wrong. It can be hard sometimes to, to find like nice way to pose, but think about relaxing and think about the overall look that you're giving. Sometimes you're thinking, that, oh, because I put my legs in there, that's fine, I'm just spreading it. But then you have to take into consideration the way it looks from, you know, another different perspective as well. But yeah, I mean, the girl doing great so far. I'm really impressed to be frankly honest. A very commercial, cute face. The first yeah, she looks like a see, doll. I don't think all of this needs to relax. This has to be effortless. All I'm thinking is that I need to fight. I'm already here in Supermodel. Yeah. This is not the time to give up. That's nice. I mean, it's hard to relax as well when you're on a hammock trying to pose in lingerie for a first photo shoot for the first time in a model TV reality show. Probably for the first time on TV, thinking what other people are going to be thinking of you. I really didn't perform my best. Oh, wait, what? Hey, what happened? And now at elimination. I actually like that they actually all dressed up. That's something that sometimes you don't always see on, you know, model TV, blah, model TV reality show because they just kind of like come the way they are. At least there, you know, they try to get their hair done, get their makeup done properly, their outfit as well. Everything is quite fashionable. So good job, girls. Someone who knows the ins and outs of this competition as Supermodel Me, season four alumni, and now Ooh, an accomplished TV host and entrepreneur, you Mika. Hi, girls. That's good to see her. She was such a sweet girl. And uh, yeah, for having watching her in season four uh, that happened in Hong Kong, uh, she did an amazing job and yeah, a really good model. Nice to see her and see what she's doing now. Like, it would have been nice if she could have actually used more of, you know, the actual hammock and like use the drapes of it to create shapes. Right now it's a bit of a, a stick in the middle of the photo. Um, but hey, she's trying, you know, we, we're going to give her that because it's not an easy challenge at all. You're just using a very sort of basic yoga pose. You're trying to sell the lingerie. We want to see a bit more than that. What are you going to talk to you about? Okay, I'm finding that a bit controversial and I put critical knowing. <laughs> okay, no, not shitting on Yumika or anything, but when she was in the previous competition, lingerie was not a forte. So it's a bit funny that they chosen her to 
be there on set to give them advices on lingerie, but yeah, she she's probably explored and discovered a lot more about lingerie since, so all right. I'll be back. Is what happened on the task. I heard you are anemic, is that true? Yeah, like halfway through the race, I started to feel really dizzy. I think because I didn't really anticipate this competition being that tough, I didn't prepare myself well enough before. Honey, what were you think you were getting into? What? The title of the competition is Supermodel Me. Do you believe in yourself? I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? Okay, sorry, but okay, okay, I get it. You know, she wants to, they want to get her to push herself and such and say that she, she needs to believe in herself more. I know there's a lot of like positive meanings behind, but right now the way of delivering it, I'm not so sure it, if that's the right thing to do right now. You had a sore ankle, but you had a game yes. plan. So I like that. And then once you started going, but the anemic girl, mm-mm. Nope. Your face here looks kind of bordering on bitchy. Her RBF game is strong. Resting bitch face. It's not a bad thing. I have RBF. I have it. Let's see yours. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> oh, oh, Smoldering oh, intensity. <laughs> And creating shapes as well, like extending that um, drape from the hammock. That's pretty good. Yeah. You had one of the tiniest, tiniest lingerie pieces. But can you do At least you guys are aware of it. Back and looked at the photos. There's a little bit here, a little bit there. So we didn't get the shot. Of course, when you add up like all of these extra things to take into consideration to focus it may be hard to get and the face and the body and the drapes and everything working out but no she did great to be honest this photo your face i'm having a bad breakout at the moment so coming to we the competition seeing all these other models it kind of gets to you sometimes thinking you're not worthy of being here Okay, first of all, honey. Killed it. You have she looks happy the too. most aspirational body. You look strong. Yeah, look at this. And she's so toned as well, so it worked out really well. No, it's really nice. Super nice. Nothing to say. Love it. Maybe just wish her arm at the back was a bit like more spread, but <laughs> amazing girl. You have this quirkiness to you that yeah, really bursts cute. through this image. Queen! Ooh. I mean, you are selling me everything in this photo. Alright, can I zoom in on the face a little bit more? Impossible. I can flip it this way. I can way. see it as a I can, can hold it. it upside down. I was saying... <laughs> Sometimes like the way you look when you're upside down, it can it can be a bit tricky, but um, she made it work. So good job, girl. I'm not really sure what you were doing with your hand. Yeah, Melody, Second what food really worries well me bit. right now is your complete lack mm. of body awareness and modeling skills. If you have a thick waist, Interesting. Hannah, at first I think, ooh, she's done something interesting. She's really yeah. played with shapes here. But then the that's more really nice, I zoom actually. in, I'm noticing... Ooh. Okay, that's um, a touch almost to be creepy, I would say, the face. But uh, <laughs> it still works. Like, she made it work like a genius. Yeah, it's just a bit... She looks a bit scary. Like, not scary, like more scared in a way. But um, again, I'm trying to have it all like in the face and the body. It's a uh, it's a hard work, but no, she killed it. Awkwardness. I think I definitely see this sort of deer in headlights type yeah. of facial expression there. Ugh, it's a shame. <laughs> Thank you. Are you still a great photo? Huh? It looks like you were not supposed to be there from the way that your yeah. foot is flexed to the way that silk is wrapped around your calf. And the way it's like cutting her body as well because you can like you know you've got the drapes around the foot like you can't even see her leg anymore the full leg from the knee down okay not the best shot agree it's uncomfortable 
but don't compare yourself to other people's life. None of us know what's happening in anybody else's life. That's really good though that they, they're putting that into the show as well. It's always a thing that you always tend to compare yourself with other people, like no matter where you are in your life, you know, it's, it's, it's a thing. But at the end of the day, who you should compare yourself with is only yourself, where you used to be a year before, five years before, ten years before. And only see that evolution and see that you keep moving and keep evolving. And there's always going to be times that are going to be tougher than others. It's also a good way to be reminded to, you know, just keep going and moving forward and yeah, just noticing all that evolution and just be gentle to yourself as well. Be kind to yourself. Okay, we're all going through that. Like weird, but it was. I mean, this is really nice in a way that she like softened her hands as well. There's a lot of little details that she added to it to make it really uh, nice and like the shape as well of her body. And yeah, I mean, I was gonna say her legs a bit disappearing, but at the same time, like, <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> There's a story behind your pose and your she facial looks very expression. comfortable that somehow. That is a real problem for me. <laughs> and so I'm not gonna forgive you for that, I'm sorry. But everything else, mm. Isabel, she's one of the tallest girls in the competition and she managed to She's one of the rare ones as well who managed to not have her body cut by the hammock and just that <laughs> amazing job, girl. <laughs> and yeah, she looks great as well, like the shape she created, like extending the hammock, so, no, oh, really nice. Make herself look short, so, I don't know, she's in the bottom for me. Really? Yeah. I don't think she's in the bottom three for me. She just has her, what? Her, her photo up in just the top stunning. three. For me, this week oh, she's I love great. it. Next up, it. we have Cassandra. I'm so love disappointed. It. And she was one of the stronger yeah. models, which is why they put her last. All right, models. All right, who is it going to be? I feel like she doesn't want this as much as me and Cassandra. Okay, what do you feel about that? If I'm being completely e honest, e I feel e that e you're e going e to deserve a second chance a lot more than it's I do. always like that. Because I keep you unprepared. <laughs> and if I do go home today, I only have myself to do. How are they gonna eliminate her for that? They did. Being the introvert that I am, I don't think that this competition is really made for someone like me. Yeah, I feel you I gave you up my girl. chance because I truly believe that Cassandra and Mel deserve a second chance more than me. Okay, she's just not wanting to throw anyone under the bus saying, you know what, this is why I'm better than you, you should go away because I'm better. She's just not like that. That doesn't mean she doesn't have what it takes to be a supermodel or actually stand for herself, but she just doesn't want to push anyone down and step on anyone down to go up. I'll give her that. And even though I'm the first to go back, I am honestly quite glad that I managed to step out of my comfort zone for once. Yeah. Next time on Supermodel Me. Morning, model! It's makeover time! Ooh, I'm excited about that. This is exactly what I don't want to have. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I don't look like a model. No. <laughs> for this week's photo shoot, you guys are in. Ooh, there's a view as well. She wants us to find for real. Season real. four. That's easy. Ooh, whoa, whoa. All right. 